No problem, man. Welcome home. After he puts the color in the stand, and then we're going to do it again. Okay? And then, I mean, once you bring it down, he's going to say left face. At that time, all of you can turn to your left. Right here 
went to Loveland schools and was just like you, a student, and went to this building a long time ago. So did I. 40 years ago, I used to eat lunch in here and play basketball and gym and stuff here. So we, like you, were little kids in Loveland at one time, and we didn't know what we were going to do with our life. Sergeant Tobias has found something to do with his life, hasn't he? He's put on that uniform, and he's in the United States Army now. And you have heard from your teachers and everybody that he just got back after a year in a country called Afghanistan. That's a long way away. It's about 9,000 miles from here, pretty far away. And you know what? He had a pretty long year. He didn't sleep much. He had, uh, you know, he didn't live in nice conditions and stuff, and he didn't get to do a whole lot of things for fun, but he had a very, very important job. And that's what we're here to talk about is that important job. How many of you guys are on a team or if you're in a group that wears a uniform, Cub Scouts or soccer or baseball, or, look at that. You know what? When you're part of a team and you wear a uniform, you can put your hands down. You do that to show that you're part of something bigger than you, you're part of the team. And you can see he's wearing a uniform. He's wearing camouflage. You may not see him right now because he's wearing camouflage. He's hidden from us. But he's wearing that uniform to show he's part of the team. Right here over his heart, it says U.S. Army. And that U.S. is United States. He's part of our team. He's part of the team that is making sure that when we say that Pledge of Allegiance for liberty and justice for all, he's one of the guys making sure we have liberty and justice for all. And right now at your age, you may not understand how important that is, but it's important. He gives us a blanket of freedom to sleep under every single night. And the thing that I want you to do is to help me out we're going to give him a little welcome home. Now, he was a student in my class. He was one of my kids. Do you think he was a good kid or a bad kid? Yeah. He was a good kid. <laughs> but I never called him Chris, and I never called him Sergeant Tobias. I called him Toby. So on the count of three, I want you to say with me, welcome home, Toby. Do that. And I want it to be loud because right now, I'm supposed to be teaching up at the high school. I'm playing hooky right now. I've got kids, and I said, when we're down there, we're going to hear the Loveland Primary kids welcome Toby home. So I want you to be so loud that my seniors up at Loveland High School hear you say, welcome home, Toby. Can you do that? On the count of three, welcome home, Toby. One, two, three. I taught Toby uh, as a senior when he, I had him for American government, and he was uh, a great kid, high-spirited, real enthusiastic. As I recall, he was Mr. Spirit or the Spirit Award for Loveland High School. Stayed in touch with him over the years after he left, and he did not join the military right out of high school. He tried some other things. I think he went to a fire academy. But in high school, we had talked, and he always had an interest in the military, and with my background, we talked some, and I really supported it because I thought with uh, with, with his strength, his physical strength, his mental strength, his attitude about things, he'd be a great fit, good solid leader. And uh, so, you know, he, he came in one day, said he joined the Army, and we, we stayed in touch and emailed. Uh, seeing him come home is a great feeling. You, 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 you know, as a teacher and, and as a soldier myself, this is my kid. He, he's, you know, his mom and dad got dibs on him, but he's my kid too. And when your kid goes off to war, you worry about him. This meant a lot, it, just the overall shock of everything. I did not see this coming at all. They just told me I was coming down to the primary to say hello to a couple people, and I almost broke down coming down here just seeing how many people were out there. It, it means everything to me. Yeah, it, it just utter shock than anything. It, it was. It hit, it hit the heart more than anything. It, it just feels good to know that people care. That meant a whole lot to me. Going through his class here in high school, not knowing what I wanted to do, and I finally found something that I was born to do. And just hearing him talk, and it, it meant everything. I've been in the service for three, going on four years now. I work out of Fort Riley, Kansas, and went over to Afghanistan for my first deployment. Do you know where you're going next? No, I don't. My duties over in Afghanistan, we were part of a BSO mission, Village Stabilization Operations. 
and we were pretty much there to help out with the local populace, getting them back up on their feet. Over there, we learned a lot about the populace that their family, from when they're very little up until they have aged completely, they work nonstop. They are the hardest working people I've ever seen. They don't have as much as we have, but they they take everything that they have and use it, no matter what it is. With your role over there, what do you think you have them? We left them with the sense that they can actually be able to build their family up without without having to worry about pretty much insurgents anymore. They don't have to be afraid. They can depend on their local police and their national police to protect them. I feel that they're going to have a good future. It's just they have to maintain to everything that we taught them. And as long as they keep progressing, they'll do fine. I, I feel that 110%. Saw Mrs. Vaughn coming in and I remember being her student, not for that long in fifth grade due to my appendix surgery, but she was always there for me, making sure I kept all my studies. And I want to thank her for being out here today. I couldn't be here without her support or anybody else's that helped me grow up to the person I am now. Thank you. A lot of values I picked up, Jess, the team cohesion. Around here, Loveland is a giant family and we look out for our own. And I brought that into the Army, treating my soldiers as a family. And that bond will never leave. And that is the biggest thing that I got out of Loveland. We are one big family. <laughs> Yeah, my dad's driving around, I'm like, why are we going down to the train? Yeah, it's like, like, give me, give me five more minutes, and then we gotta go to the trip. Why are we going? Yeah, I know. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I've been hey, I, yeah. I haven't got a chance to meet you. I've seen the devil brigade hat on there. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're around me. <laughs> I had a good friend that commanded the first brigade. Yeah. Uh -huh. He was commander one two four before that. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta run, man. Did yep. you get your I'll be out. I'll, I'll come yeah. up by the so school. Much. Thank you so much. <laughs> the whole the whole entire staff and the children the children kept kept me all um, they just kept me it kept my mind off of things you know the kids have a way of doing that you know so and I just love the kids and the staff here and they were all so supportive and yeah did they talk to you about Chris throughout the year um, the kids would always ask about Chris, so I tried to give them updates about Chris, and the staff always was asking about Chris and how he was doing. The thing that really helped me was to be able to send care packages all the time to Chris. That really helped me a lot, knowing that, you know, I was sending him something, not, not knowing when he got it, but knowing that, you know, it was something from home. So that meant a lot to me. That sort of gave me um, peace knowing that I was sending things to him and he was happy to get something from home. So. Did the students and staff here help you do those see mom? They did, they did. And we actually, um, some of the classrooms actually made cards and things that we actually sent to Chris over in Afghanistan. So he really enjoyed getting things from the kids here at Loveland Primary. In fact, I sent him, his buddies, for, for his birthday, he got a marble cake, chocolate chip cookies, and muffins all in one box. And they were so thrilled. I sent a can of icing with the cake. They totally devoured the cake and forgot the icing. So they dipped the cookies in the icing. So that's his story. So yeah, yeah. Her chocolate chip cookies were just crumbs when he got there. But it doesn't. But they were gone in five seconds. It doesn't matter, you know. It doesn't matter because it's just something that they normally do, they can't have every day over there. So yeah. So it's, thank you, thank you, thank you.